show is brought to you by Da Vinci Performance Carburetor, Pile Brothers Performance Differential, Joey's Crams Mission, Houston Engine and Balancing, AirmasterDrumPunk.com, and the Time Slip Simulator. Thank you for watching American Bracket Racer. Guys, I got some bad news. Uh, that last round, I broke the damn car again. The transmission, uh, we keep burning up the... Uh, we'll go into a second round of mod next, but uh, I was 063 on the tree. I didn't feel like I nailed it that much and I didn't bump it. Everybody. Welcome to American Bracket Racer, bringing you another episode from Royal Purple Raceway here in Baytown, Texas. Uh, running top in mod today, going into my last time trial. The two hits before this, I was uh, 667, 005 on the tree, and 668, uh, 16 on the tree. So uh, we'll see what happens here. Shooting to be 20 or better, and it should probably slow down. It's getting real hot out there. So I'll probably be between a 68 and a 70. So let's make a good hit. news uh that last round i broke the damn car again the transmission uh we keep burning up the uh the band around the drum in the transmission uh, that's what happened last weekend and we thought it was converter but we pulled it apart and it was the band it was burned up and i'm losing first gear so as you can see on that last time uh time trial my car didn't launch so we're gonna just run it in high gear hopefully we're trying to get some points here, maybe salvage a round or two. But uh, if I can win one round like this, and maybe you'll give me an idea for the next round, and maybe we can roll. But it's not uh, optimum conditions to run it in high gear, and I hope I don't burn anything else up. But uh, got to do what you got to do, and we'll go up for first round and see what happens. All right, first round. I got it pretty lucky. I got a car that's a little slower than me, so I'll be able to leave in high gear and uh, hopefully get out in front of her and, and cut her in, just ride with her and, uh, you know, put a wheel on her and just try to cut her in as, as much, at least as I can. So she's dialed 780, I'm dialed 779. So the theory is, you know, leaving in high gear, I'm probably not going to get a really good light. So I'm going to stall it up a little bit more and try to hit it hard. Hope to be 60 or 50 or something around there. We'll see. But uh, I'll let her leave first. I'm letting her leave first by 100. Maybe get a red light. And uh, I don't know. I've never left in high gear before. So uh, we'll see how much it slows me down. But I should should only slow down between a half a second to, to three quarters of a second. So I don't know. This is uncharted territory for me and hope for the best and we'll tell you what happened after this run.
I don't know, we got the win somehow. Anyway, I stalled up to three grand and uh, bumped it in pretty good, about three or four inches. And uh, I was 028 on the tree. And uh, my opponent was 046 on the tree. She goes 88 on the 80, which left me some room to get there. And I took 33,000 strike. I go a 785 with a 9 on the 779. So I was definitely running the 70. So it'll probably run a 720, I imagine. I don't know. I have to do some math, but I don't know if I got out of it before the uh, 330 or not. I should, it would have been smart to hold it out to the 330 maybe and get a, uh, get a time and kind of do some math that way. But I don't know. Take what I can get. I got one round wind, and we'll go into second round. Leave it in high gear. I can't believe I got a 28 light, but hell, if I can figure out what this thing wants to run, somewhere pretty close, and I stay on them lights like that, might have a chance. So we'll go into a second round of mod. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull out a top. There's no reason for me to run top when my car broke like this. It's hard enough to win when everything's running right over there, foot breaking. So we'll uh, go into second round of mod next. All right, slight change of plans. I went ahead and decided to run the first round of top. Since I won first round of foot brake, this will give me basically like a time trial going into second round of mod. Um, I put it on a 710. Like I said, I'll be leaving in high gear and I really don't know what it's gonna run. So it's gonna be hard for me to not to pedal it down there if I got a wheel on them, but I gotta look at the big picture and go ahead and just run it out the back door no matter what. Um, that way I can be prepared for the next round of mod. Uh, I had a decent light last round. Um, so I'll use this round to, to hit the tree again and get some more practice. And uh, like I said, I need to run it out the back door to see what it's gonna run, high gear only. something on the tree so uh, I don't know we'll go into a second round of mod next but uh, I was 063 on the tree I didn't feel like I nailed it that much and I didn't bump it in quite as much as I had the round before but uh, we'll go from there I run a 721 with the three on the 710 all out so that gave me my time trial I needed and I doubt I'll run top anymore because the transmission got pretty damn hot. The transmission got all the way up to 240 degrees. And I'm sure it was hotter than that. I just didn't look early enough. But uh, I don't like it. But I do what I got to do. If it burns it up, I'll just buy a new transmission. I don't know. It's pretty crazy, but uh, racing for points. So got to do what I got to do. Looks like it's about to rain here pretty soon anyway. So uh, we'll go into second round of mod. I'll get my car cooled off and give you the details when I, in the stage of lane. All right, here we are. Continuation from yesterday's race. We rained out yesterday, so we're here back uh, late in the afternoon. It's about 5.30. Uh, no time trials. And uh, my, my car is still broke, so I'm leaving in high gear. But I'm in the right lane. I went with a 727. My car yesterday... When I made that all-out run, it went a 721 with the three. So I think it might be a little bit slower, maybe two or three slower. 
So it leaves me holding about four to five, I think, somewhere around there. But I'm running a slow pickup truck, so I'm gonna try to hang a wheel on them and uh, kill what I gotta kill. Continuing, so my opponent went red, just what I needed, so I could run it all out the back door. I got a pretty good bump in, so uh, run it out in the car. When a uh, it was about a hundred, hundred and uh, twelve thousand slow in the three thirty, and I was able to run it out, and it run a seven twenty one again in high gear only. So it's been pretty deadly from what it shows. My last two runs was a 172 with a 9, 60 foot, and then that one was just a 174.2. Then the 330 was a 473.6, and that one was a 474.5. And I both run a 21.3 and a 21.0, so. Can't ask for a better run with it being in high gear only. I was 50 on the tree, which felt like I hit it, but with it running like it is, I. I don't know, I'm gonna have trouble getting the tree, so I'm gonna have to hold at least as many numbers as I think I'm gonna be late on the tree. So if I think I'm gonna be 50 or 60 on the tree, I need to hold at least five or six, so. But uh, we'll go from there, going into second round of top next. All right, second round of top. I uh, stick it with a 727. That should leave me holding about five to six. Running a fast dragster, all Honey Wayne over there, my buddy. Probably dialed a 470 something, so I don't know. It's gonna be a long shot. I can barely cut a good light, so I'll try to cut a light and run it down there and jam on the brakes and see what happens. a little early I give it two good rips and then I just jammed the brakes too damn late I wanted to hit them at the mile per hour cone and I was late on the brakes but uh, if I could have maybe ran over my dial I might have won we broke there was a double breakout I'll double eight on the tree to my hunters 13 he goes a 79 with an 8 on the 80 breaks out 2 thou and I break out 21 thou and I got there first by 24 so uh, I needed to give up the strike, which that was kind of the plan, but just didn't do it. I don't know, I thought I killed quite a bit early and uh, jammed the brakes, so I'm thinking I'm on about a 20, uh, I thought I should have been on about a 21 to a 22 pass. The two rips should have killed about two and a half, maybe, maybe around there, and then the, the brakes should have killed about three, so just didn't work out that way. Let me see what I was gonna run. Yeah, I was a little bit fast. I was probably going a uh, a low 20, so it actually picked up. So that's where the the 200s come in. It probably picked up. It probably was going to go one and a half faster than it was the round before. So 
I don't know. It was kind of a long shot right there. I just mainly wanted to get a hit on the tree, which I was 008. So we'll go into uh, modified next round. See what happens. All right, third round of mod. I got a tough, tough opponent, James Day. I dialed down. I've been on a 21 two, two times. And I went on a uh, 20. I was going to low 20 that last round. So I dialed a 723. Should be holding anywhere from two to four. Just depends on how the car runs and how I bump it in. I've been taking a pretty good bump. So I need to hit the tree like I was last time and be sure to get rid of at least three. So he's dialed 626. It's going to be tight down there. I think it was going to run. It looks like it was fast. Even though I took a big bump, it still looked fast to me by the 60 foot and 330. So, yeah, I was quick on the 60 foot a little bit and real fast at the 330. Here's a run right here. I run a 721 with a zero. And, uh, I was a uh, hundred fast in the 60 foot and two and a half fast at the 330. So it was probably on a every bit of a low 19. So that left me holding about four. So it was right on the, uh, the uh, heavy side of me holding numbers. I thought it could have been anywhere between two and four. So it was probably all a bit, every bit of four. So it would have been tough to beat him if he'd have turned to green. I probably, he would have had to give me the strike back or something because he wasn't breaking out. He ran it all out and run dead on. So, got lucky going into the fourth round of mod. All right, here we go. Fourth round of mod. I'm in the left lane. I'm, uh, I was probably on a low, low 19 pass. So, uh, it's probably going to be on an 18 or 19 this pass. It's cooled off. Sun setting. So I'm going with a 22. I should be holding about four. Um, my opponent's down to 691, so I need to hit the tree and get rid of some numbers down there, about three to four at least. 
pulled a decent load out. I was 29 on the tree and my opponent's 89. Uh, he might have spun or something because he went seven over his dial. 98 with an eight on a 91. The luck continues. I'm not going to complain, but uh, shows me running about a, a mid to low 20, maybe high 19. So uh, all in all, it's good. I'm not going to worry about it. I was decent on the tree. It was going to run the number. I was going to be holding probably at the end of it two to three. So all in all, it's good round. I took 19 thou strike. Probably killed way too much. But uh, I wanted to make sure to cut them in pretty decent. But I uh, don't want to give the strike back. Well, that's for damn sure. But going into round five, baby, down to four cars. So got to get it done. All right. Semi-finals down to four cars. I'm in the left lane. Sticking with a 722. Should leave me, last round it leaves me holding two. But I should be holding between two to three, maybe four. I don't know, but we'll find out. Uh, I'm running at him. He's dialed a seven, uh, 644. Well, either way, I need to get rid of three. shorter than I had been so that should have told me hit the heck out of the tree hit it as hard as I could but I didn't I, I actually was late uh, or seen too much yellow so I was 59 on the tree and <sighs> opponent goes red again I don't know what to say getting in the finals with the broken transmission leaving in high gear I've never done it before and uh, it's just kind of a miracle to me I've, cars actually running pretty badass for the situation we're in and uh, so I run it out it shows it to be on a, a mid 19 and I go down there and rip it I should have got out of it at 330 but I go down there and rip it and go dead on with a zero pretty much lucky right there too it looked good on the scoreboard but it's just luck and uh, Adam got out of it he's probably pretty pissed at himself you know I've had a couple three red lights or so today and Everybody knows my transmission broke. It's broke and I'm, it's a long shot for me to cut a light. And I don't know, man, just the sun set and it probably bit them. Got dark on us and you know, nobody's gonna leave me any room anyway. And uh, you know, with the sun setting like it is and you know, you, you tell yourself to hold off any and then you're 50. So you wanna stay aggressive and that's what they're doing. And it's, it's just getting, I'm getting lucky. So we're going to the final round. This will be one for the record books here with the broken transmission. <laughs> so uh, we'll go from there. I'll give you the details for the finals coming up.
Diana, get it done, Abby. This show is brought to you by Da Vinci Performance Carburetors, Pile Brothers Performance Differential, Joey's Crams Mission, Houston Engine and Balancing, AirmasterDrumPump.com, and the Time Slip Simulator. Thank you for watching American Bracket Racers.